Hi Aries, how are you? Welcome to Karma Light Readings. I am Alexandra, also known as Karma, and I appreciate you taking the time coming to my channel and to this video. I am so grateful. If you are new here, please make sure that you subscribe and become part of the Karma Light crew. If you are returning, you know how much I love you and I appreciate your support. Um, to both old and new subscribers, my website officially launched um, on March 29th. And I'm so excited. So karmalightreadings.com. All the information will be in the description box below. Um, if you do go to my website, please make sure you sign up to become a Karma Light crew member. I will give you access to an exclusive locked page on my website where I will be posting monthly collective reads for the Karma Light crew. We'll talk about what the uh, reading was about and I'll give you healing tech techniques and tips um, surrounding that reading um, and I'll also provide you with links to really fantastic websites that I've used on my healing journey as well as every month you will receive 25% uh, off a select reading um, and when you sign up you get 20% off on your first purchase as well so for those of you that are new this is going to be for Aries Sun Moon Rising and Venus for April 2020 I will be reading it as a love connection however this may resonate for you as a family friend business love is love but to make it easier for us since it's such a large collective here on YouTube I will be reading it as an intimate connection please understand that my readings are from a spiritual uh, perspective and they are designed to help you understand any karmic cycles or emotional baggage that you may need to work on and release so that you can live your best life and become um, all that you can become become in alignment with your true vibration all right so before we get started my loves I pulled some Oracle cards for you guys today I don't normally do that but I thought I'd spice it up this month for you um, <clears throat> so the first two cards that came out are unbound and Star Mother. I'm going to show you the pictures so you guys can take it in. I think it's really important with tarot to look at the pictures and really connect with what it's saying to you. So we have Unbound and Star Mother. And what I'm feeling here for you, my beautiful Aries, and just so you know, those of you that are new, Aries is my Venus. So I do resonate with your readings quite a lot. Um, I feel that this time right now in April 2020, I know you guys have been going through this for a while. Please remember that a spiritual awakening and a spiritual journey is never ending, okay? It's not like you discover something and, oh, I'm awakened forever. No, baby. It's it's going to keep going. There's always something new. There's always something um, higher that you can learn and achieve, okay? So what we're focusing on here during your um, personal new year is releasing soul patterns and contracts and cycles that have been holding you back. Negative thoughts, negative beliefs, negative perceptions, negative behaviors, traits, characteristics, okay? This is a time for you to really go within and see what is binding you from moving forward and you are to becoming unbound, right? This is usually for those of us that it's you becoming unbound to the darkness, to the to that which we have been brainwashed, right? Prior to our awakening. So this is a lot of um, shadow work. This is a lot of healing inner um, inner wounds, childhood trauma. This could be stuff that's showing up now in your relationship. And spirit is saying how you handle this is by mothering yourself. What do you need? What are you doing for others that you're not doing for yourself? Are you having time alone? Are you praying? Are you connecting? Are you writing down what it is you want? Are you manifesting? Okay. Are you really focusing on healing yourself how much of a priority are you to yourself okay um the next two cards that i ha got are from a different deck and it is the ocean and see only love this is a cleansing time for you in april 2020 i feel like you guys are gonna come out brand spanking new I really do. I feel like parts of you are shedding and falling off. Um, old perceptions, old beliefs, they're just shedding right off of you. You're coming out of your skin, you're coming out of your cocoon, and you are transforming into the butterfly. This is the beginning of that um, where we've been locked up and, and just really working on ourselves. You're starting to break open that cocoon um, and shed that old skin. And while you're doing that, it's very, very important 
that you come from a place of love, okay? And what I mean by that, not just in the other person, if somebody's involved and there's a situation here that was like icky and sticky, this isn't just about seeing love in the other person. This is about you dealing with your shadow self, dealing with your demons, coming face to face with the things that you have kept suppressed and hidden for so long within, letting them rise and not letting your thoughts take over. I want to um, give you a quick piece of advice here um, that was uh, shared with me years ago and it just means so much to me because it really resonated and I'm hoping it does for you as well. When we are about to release something or when something, a trauma, an inner childhood wound, a trigger, when something is rising inside of us to be released, to be acknowledged and to be worked on, our mind automatically assigns a thought that is on the same vibration of that said trauma or fear. So your mind is assigning a negative thought and words to enter your mind to trick you from releasing that trigger or that cycle. Do you understand? So that's why a lot of times you, when you're, when you become awakened and then you're trying to have a conversation with somebody, that's how you can see how you used to be. I hope that makes sense to some of you that are watching, um, because you'll see that person's reaction get kind of defensive sometimes. And you're like, but that's not what it is. That is them listening to the fear. So spirit is saying right now, um, to play, pay close attention to your thoughts this month in April 2020, but do not trust them. You need to use very, very wise discernment in these decisions and really try to um, filter your way through. Get rid of the darkness, get rid of the fear, get rid of the wounds, all of that. Make sure that the thoughts that you have are coming from a place of love, okay? Um, and forgiveness because this is helping you. And if you're not sure in a situation, then you pause. There is never a need to rush. You pause, you pray, you ask for guidance, you meditate, and you do not make a move until you know for sure. Okay? All right, my loves, let's get into the business. Let's see what they really wanna say here, because this is just a tip. This is just letting me know what's surrounding you. So while you're going through this on a soul level, we're gonna take a look and see what's going, out, going on on the outside world with a connection or relationship with somebody. Holy Spirit, thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel of receiving messages for Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of April, 2020. I ask that these messages provide clarity, inspiration, healing, hope, guidance, and understanding, as well as a higher perspective of knowing why certain cycles or situations had to happen and what they need to work on and release. And all that you are and all that you do and all that I am and all that I do, I live by your word and your word only. In your name I pray, amen. All right, Holy Spirit. What is the energy surrounding Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in a love connection? April 2020, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, April 2020, love connection, please. All right, what just flew out? Soulmate just flew out. So you are dealing with your soulmate? Passion, yes, of course, of course. You know this is your soulmate but you're still conflicted somehow. You really have a lot of passion for this person. There's deep, deep emotions here. I think that you recognize, I actually am feeling that both of you recognize. One person has vocalized it. I'm getting another person knows it, but hasn't actually acknowledged it to the other person. And it's leaving that other energy kind of wondering if they know how deep this connection is. Holy Spirit, what is the energy surrounding Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? in a love connection, thank you. Heart to heart conversation is needed. You need to honestly discuss your feelings with each other. There's something that needs to be released. There's something that's putting us, it's causing this connection to be stagnant. And that's so sad to me because I can see and feel how passionate this connection is and how, um, how deeply connected the two of you are. But without being vulnerable and honestly discussing your feelings and being very, very truthful and to the point, it's not gonna go anywhere. It's, it's, it's vital to the movement of this connection. 
Holy Spirit. Energy surrounding Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The month of October, last card. Oop, last card, and they gave me two. Bottom of the deck, it is safe for you to love. This person is safe for you to love and open up your heart, okay? So let's see what these two cards were that flew out. Engagement and trust. Okay, there's a union coming. Engagement doesn't mean engagement as we know it here in the 3D. It does, it could mean that for some of you, but the overall energy of engagement is very strong commitment. Union between two souls, okay? Because you don't get married in, in spirit, right? When we're, when we're on the other side, you don't get married. You just, if that's your soulmate, that's your soulmate, that's who you're with, that's who you're partnered with, you, you don't want anyone else. So there is no rings and engagement. Um, so engagement is a union of two and we have trust. So your love life is ascending and you are having a very, very hard time um, trusting this situation because I feel that for a lot of you right now, nothing is happening. And it's very hard for you to see that picture. You know what you feel inside, but it's not connecting in this outside world. And because you can't see it with your physical eyes, you're lacking faith in this connection. And God is telling you to, to get rid of that. Why are you not trusting me? This situation is calling for you to have a very strong sense of faith. Look at that. Did I not say that you guys are going through a spiritual awakening? And I just split the deck and we have Pisces energy here with Leo energy here. The moon and the sun. What happens in the dark must come to light. You will be liberated. You need to address what you're feeling inside. It's time to reflect on these emotions, these fears, anything that's holding you back. If you think this person isn't coming to you or if you guys aren't going to be able to work out this situation then the sun goes away and you're right. You're going to stay in the dark. But if you know and have faith and have trust that this is a period of healing and it's happening for you and not to you, you will perceive it differently and there will always be a liberation and um, a celebration at the end. Always the sun will come out. Storms don't last forever, baby. Okay? So let's see here. Holy Spirit. What does Aries, sun, moon, rising, and Venus feel the issue is with their person? What does Aries feel the issue is with their person? Thank you. Wow, okay. Usually they ask me to break the deck, but I guess not today. We have Knight of Swords and Judgment. Ooh, truth is coming in. You feel the issue is somebody doesn't want to, to face the truth of a situation. There could have been... Um, um, some sort of disagreement in the recent past between the two of you. I feel that both of you may have said some very judgmental things to each other recently, not to, or whenever the last time you communicated with this person, because I'm, I'm feeling like it was really sharp. It, it, it came kind of quick, but now I'm also seeing that there is There is a message coming into you. Let's see, Holy Spirit. What is the issue? This person doesn't want to, you also feel that the issue is this person doesn't want to admit their part in something or they're, they're struggling with their own shadow self, so to speak, okay? For, for lack of a better word, like what I'm seeing is this person is so quick to judge. This person is so quick to say something to you. And it's almost like you feel like they're not looking in the mirror. Yeah, like they're a runner. Okay, you're dealing with somebody who just shuts off. Holy Spirit, what does Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus feel the issue is here with their person, April 2020? temperance. They really struggle with bringing balance to this connection. They could be very unstable and that's kind of what you feel the issue is here. Sagittarius energy is here. Could be dealing with a Sag. 
Knight of Swords and Judgment. Please, Holy Spirit, please clarify the Knight of Swords with Judgment for what Aries feels the issue is with their person. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, the Empress. Oh. The issue here is I think that both of you really want this new beginning with each other. Um, but for some reason, you can't get it off the ground. There's this abundance happening. There's this, this growth. There's this huge potential for the two of you to be extremely um, stable, creative together, and have kind of this dreamy relationship. You see that and you recognize that within the qualities of each of you. But this person struggles with that very much. Um, for some of you, I'm seeing movement, like somebody's traveling and or moving. Again, I have the Empress here, so I have to say that there could be um, some type of pregnancy announcement coming, um, something, you know, the truth coming out about a pregnancy or um, maybe you are pregnant and they don't know. But the issue here is you can't get them to make a decision is what I feel like. You can't get them to give you something solid about starting new with you, starting fresh, letting go of the past and, and really picking up where you left off or you are struggling with that. Holy Spirit, why is judgment here with the Eight of Cups? Two of Swords. So there's a feeling of not knowing. There's a fear here. We have the Three of Swords with the Knight of Swords and the Two of Swords. So like I said, Eight of Cups, the truth is, why did you walk away? That's what, that's what the issue is. You want to know why this person left and, and, and didn't create anything or start fresh with you. I feel that there was something on the table and this person kind of ghosted and it's left you heartbroken, okay? If the, if the energies are reversed, reverse the energies. Look at this little alfalfa. Did I see it? I do. Sorry. Um, so... Um, it's leaving an, uh, somebody feeling very, very heartbroken here, okay? It's leaving somebody feeling as though they're being deceived and they're not quite sure what the truth is. They're feeling very closed off. There is the other energy, though, that is not budging. They're not opening up. And I almost feel like both of you right now are at this standoff. Um, and maybe you don't even realize it, but I don't, like, neither one of you are reaching out to the other person right now. Does that make sense? Because that's what I'm getting here. And I feel there's a lot of confusion because, but this is really how you feel towards them, Aries. But there is some confusion and there's a need to know. There's this deep need of what is going on. Um, we have the five of pentacles. So you guys may have lived together at one point, but... There's an energy of somebody feeling very out in the cold, feeling very left out, um, not sure what's going on, not sure if they should even come back, but a deep need to heal as well with temperance here, wanting to bring balance, but there's a there's an energy of, is this person gonna blow up? I feel one of the issues in this connection is temper. That could very well be you, Aries, fire sign. I love you to pieces because I have that trait from Aries. Um, so there is a temper here that needs to, to kind of um, learn how to be controlled and tamed, okay, balanced. But I have the ten, ten of Cups here with the Eight of Cups and Temperance. There's a lot of deep love and passion between the two of you. Um, and both of you recognize this. You definitely recognize this. And it's one of those situations that is so frustrating because you really care for this person. But you're like, I don't want to feel stupid if I go back. That's how you feel. But you want it to heal at the same time. Okay? So let's see here. Holy Spirit. How does Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, how does their person truly feel towards them? How does their person truly feel towards them? April 2020 for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How does their person truly feel towards them? Uh, 
All right, let's take a look. How do they feel towards you? Seven of Cups, Page of Wands, the Hermit, so Virgo Energy, and the Five of Cups. They feel like they've lost you. They feel like they've lost you. Ten of Swords right here on the bottom. They are so confused, very overwhelmed. Um, they are not sure which way to go or how to approach you, how to communicate with you. They do want to come forward. They want to say something to you, but it's so overwhelming for them that they're, it's almost like they're just staying in this silence and solitude. They're very much in their emotions. They're very much in this energy of needing to be alone. They're kind of closing themselves out from the world. And I feel this person is very much in their, in their feelings and emotions. They're feeling like they've lost you. They're down, on the, uh, down in the dumps. Seven of Cups and the Page of Wands, please, Holy Spirit, for how this person feels for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Knight of Cups gives me the Eight of Cups. Oh, they just don't know what to do. I feel like this person is going to, they may have left or they may have been the one that kind of split this from the beginning. They want to come back and they're trying to figure out how. They're working up the courage here to come back in with this offer, okay? They have something to give you, but they're not sure if it's the right thing to do yet. It's almost like they're waiting for the perfect time, okay? Page of Wands and the Hermit, please, Holy Spirit. Page of Wands with the Hermit. For how this person feels for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Page of Wands with the Hermit, please. Thank you. Seven of Wands. They feel like they want to defend it. They want to fight for this. Seven gives us a... They're coming through with a message. Travel, movement. Maybe they're coming to see you. They're saying they want to come to see you. They're coming out of this mode of not communicating. Look at this. Ace of Wands on the bottom of the deck with the Ten of Cups. They have something to say. They're very, very anxious and nervous about this. Very anxious and nervous. Very anxious and nervous. So you need to recognize that. And that I feel that that's why Spirit is asking you right now to go through this healing process, Aries, so that you don't allow any um, insecurities or triggers to get in the way when this person, because you may feel very wronged and betrayed by this person. And I am getting a very strong sense, um, This for somebody who's watching, I, I'm getting a very strong sense that this person may have been pulling back for their own spiritual reasons and they weren't actually doing anything wrong. That is the energy that I'm getting, that it looked that way, right? But looks can be deceiving. Now, for those of you who have proof and your person was, you know, doing something foul, then please understand that then you're not resonating with this part that I'm saying, okay? So just um, have respect and understand that. But the message that I'm getting from Spirit is that there are situations here where things are not what they look like. And that is part of your soul lesson that you are learning right now. This person has something to say. They want to fight for this connection. They're just very nervous as to how. Holy Spirit, the Hermit and the Five of Cups, please. Page of Pentacles. They want to apologize. They want to to they want to make things right. They have some uh, some information to give you. There's something that they want to say to you. There's some they want to express something, but it's almost like they're very timid. They're very timid because they're worried about how it's going to be perceived. Holy Spirit, what is the outcome of this situation for Aries? Sun, Moon. Rising in Venus, April 2020. What is the outcome for Aries, please? Mm 
Wow. What was that? The moon. Pisces energy. I'm not going to keep it, but you could be with um, a Pisces. Okay. So this is somebody who's done a lot of work. You doing a lot of work. This is emotional bonding connection. Things coming out. Things that were hidden are coming to light. Holy Spirit, what is the outcome of this connection for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? April 2020. All right, let's take a look here. The Fool, beautiful. Six of Pentacles, wow. Wheel of Fortune. Nine of Wands, which I have over here. They're nervous. They're so nervous. Knight of Pentacles on the bottom, okay? With justice. Could be dealing with the Libra. And again, here's the Eight of Wands. There's a message coming in. This is like, you're going through dealing with shadow work. You're dealing with the dark night of the soul. You're releasing things. This person is going through that as well. Um, but what's going to happen is a new beginning that brings balance to this connection. The tables have turned. Where you may have been waiting, where you may have been wondering where this person is or when they're coming, know that they are coming. Know that things are moving in your favor. They're coming in with a message. They have something to say. I feel like this person has learned a lot. I feel like this person has gained some insight and there's going to be this heart-to-heart -heart conversation that came out. Holy Spirit, please clarify the Fool and the Six of Pentacles. For closing messages, the Fool and the Six of Pentacles as the outcome of this connection for Aries, Eight of Wands. So if you guys live apart, gosh, that came out. So um, they're definitely making movement towards you. Okay, a lot of fire here. So, and I know that's you, but that's action. That's passion. That's, I'm not giving up. And this is coming in as the other person's energy. Um, so I do see travel towards you if you guys live apart, maybe taking a trip somewhere um, to get things right. Six of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. Bringing balance to this Five of Swords energy where you felt ghosted, where communication was just crap. You weren't getting any sort of communication. And if you were getting communication, it was hurtful. And they're coming in to bring balance to that, to heal that. Look at that Six of Wands on the bottom here. Wheel of Fortune with the Nine of Wands, please, for the outcome of this connection. This person's going to lay some things out on the line for you and let you know what the real deal really is. Eight of Swords, eight. Okay, so Queen of Swords. Okay, listen, don't be standoffish and cold when this person comes in. I know it's easier said than done. I'm the same way. Um... But I'm getting that energy here with the Five of Swords and the Eight of Swords. There's a lot of mental anguish and there's a need to let go of control. Letting this, letting this take place the way that it needs to. Um, I do want to point out, I also have the Eight of Swords here. This is my jail card, so I don't know if anybody has legal issues because I did see the Justice card here um, not too long ago. So somebody could be dealing with legal issues, okay? So just keep that in mind. But... There's a lot of worry here, and I feel that this person is very nervous about how you're going to react to a specific um, message that they have for you. They do want to take things to the next level with you, but I also feel like they're dealing with something else, that they have to clear something else out, and it doesn't necessarily mean another person. Okay, I feel this person too with the hermit is going through a very, very deep spiritual awakening um, and understanding and enlightenment right now of how they really feel for you um, and what this connection means to them. Okay, happy birthday, Aries. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you're interested in a personal reading, you can still, of course, go to my Etsy page. All the information is below or my website, carmelitereadings.com, and I will see you guys in two weeks. Bye.